Today we're trying Filipino desserts. For the first time. Let's dig in. back to try some new foods that we have never ever tried before. Nope. If you guys don't know or do know, a little while back you we- don't know, now you know. If you know, you know. We tried Filipino food. Click up here for the video for the first time. We got so many, so many comments. Thank you. Thank you for those. So many comments of suggestions of food to try. So we decided we wanted to try some dessert items because who doesn't like- I love a good dessert. Me too. All right, so we have the leche flan. And the babinka. Ooh. Babinka, that's kind of what say. I love that name, but I feel like we're saying it wrong, but babinka. Maybe it's as fun as it is to say. Right. So babinka. this restaurant did babinka with malat and cheese. Once that means we, nothing to me. I understand the cheese part. <laughs> once we get into it, I will explain the components of it and the name will make sense. Cool, let's do it. Let's do the leche flan first though. Okay. Sounds wonderful. Okay. Let's go. The leche flan, which looks sticky, sticky. Oh, there goes my phone. Oops. Isn't that oh. brand new? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you guys, it's so sticky. That's what she said. Oh, oh. it sprayed oh. the sticky. Hold on, I need a napkin. Here, use it. <gasps> Thanks, Monica. Nice smell that. Holy cow. I can't smell that it. That looks like a. What? Uh, that looks like it's like. Pure okay. or sugar or honey or something. Okay, it ready? Like cake with syrup. Have you guys ever had flan? No. I think I have. Okay. I'll let, I'll read the description before. So the flan is like a cake, right? <laughs> well, I'll let you know. Please do. Leche flan is a caramel custard made with eggs, milk, sugar, and flavored with vanilla. I can smell that caramel. Oh. That's what's so sticky. So. It leaked a bit, so yeah, I could feel when I was carrying it down here. It's like something's. Yeah, there's lots it's kinda of sauce like jelly. on this Okay, grab your fork size. Let's just let's just go right into it. All right, here we yeah, go. we're not getting pretty here. We're just going in. Oh, oh my God. Sorry. That's okay. Eric got aggressive. I did. Dip it in that caramel sauce. Oh my sauce. God. Mm, it kind of looks like sponge oh, cake. Oh, that kinda. smells so good. It's the caramel. The caramel it's like insanity. It smells so strong. And right. I like how it doesn't fall apart. Ready? Cheers, everybody. Mmm. 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 It's a weird texture at first if you're not expecting it. Well, because it's like, um, yeah. I was expecting it to be like cakey. It is like cake, but it's like a, it's moist. It's really moist. It's not dry at all. No, it's not dry at all. It's like sopping. It's like sopping with caramel. But there's yeah. actually no like cake components in it. It's basically just eggs, milk, sugar, and flavored vanilla. Yeah, it's good though. It's I thought it was gonna be way sweeter actually. So it's good. It's it is sweet, but I thought it was gonna be like insanely. Uh, the texture kind of reminds me of like a cream. Uh, not cream cheese. My words, I've lost them. Go on. <laughs> I'm gonna have another bite though. It is good. It is really cheesecake. Good. So the texture kind of reminds yes, me of, uh, of a cheesecake. But softer. Yeah, but softer. Yeah, exactly. It is very soft and it, I, I want to say like mushy. Is that a good word for it? I mean, again, everybody out there is like, dudes, have you never had flan before? Never in my life, actually. So this is why we seem like we're completely just. We're ah. very much newbies to like trying things inside of our comfort oh, zone. Right. It keeps falling apart on me though when I go. This one's got a little like hole in it. To keep They're all the just going in. I do have a fun fact though, guys. Bring it. Keep, it. keep eating while I read my fun fact off my cheat sheet. Leche flan is the Filipino version of creme caramel. It is a sweet dish traditionally served as dessert at parties, fiestas, and other special occasions. It's also commonly used as a topping for shaved ice, such as halo halo or other treats such as floating island or gram de leche. Oh, wow. Nice. Mm. So, it's really good. It's super. Hello, hello is also another dessert that was highly recommended by you guys, and it sounds delicious. We have just haven't been able to find it around us yet, but as soon as we do, I'm gonna be trying it because I yeah. did read online somewhere that that is like the unofficial official dessert of the Philippines. So the we'll unofficial get to official that. dessert. <laughs> I want to try that. Well, I don't know if it's really official. The no, internet said anyway. Uh, so uh, the leche flan is is delicious. It, it's kind of deceiving, like they said. It's not as sweet as you're expecting it to be when you taste it. Yeah. It has really strong flavor hints of uh, the vanilla and the caramel. Yes, mm, yeah. and it's it's light and airy too when you eat it. Yeah, I don't so feel like I've eaten a lot of stuff at all. It's very light. It's delicious. Yeah, yeah, it's right. really good. It's good. 
I like that. Also forgot to mention before we move on to the new dessert, that leche flan was $6.99 Canadian, which for a dessert that's easily shareable, like that's a two person dessert. Oh yeah, yeah. that so doesn't seem too bad. No. That seems a-okay to me. All right, so we are moving on to the babinka. Babinka. Or is it bibinka? Bibinka. But it's not ba, it's bibinka. Bi bibinka. Bibinka, yeah. Oh, you guys, I hope we're somewhat close to the Hopefully we're close. Let us know in the comments if we're uh, off. Yeah. So it's a Filipino baked coconut rice cake with salted egg and cheese. It sounds interesting. Baked I coconut. coconut Rice cake. rice cake with salted egg and cheese. Okay. Uh, yeah, that I'm trying to picture all these flavors and so how it's gonna taste. Before it's I, gonna be like a sweet and a sweet and savory, right? Because like the the, right, the coconut's gonna be sweet. The the salted egg, obviously savory. So I think this is gonna be interesting. And the cheese for some extra fat and flavor. We will see if this you're... might be fantastic. It, it very well could be. And I won't. I'll wait until we open it up and try it before I give some more information on. This is it. There's only one way to find out how good this thing is. Hiccups. Uh -oh. Okay. Let's dig in. Holy cow, that is a huge. Wow, that th it's big. Look at that. Oh, it's... that's cool. It's like, um, it's not like uh, it was, uh... parchment paper or anything. It's like leaves. Oh, yeah. That's it's like wrapped a in a leaf. It smells very cool. Very cakey. Banana leaf or some of that? Yeah. I don't know. It smells cakey. It smells a bit cheesy, too. Cakey. Like, that's kind of, can, this is kind of throwing me off where there's literally, like, grated what looks like mozzarella cheese on top. It's yeah. throwing me yeah. off a little. Um, for this giant thing, which you can see, like, my hand's pretty small, but, I mean, it's... No, it's a, it's a good size. It's a good size. Let's see if this is as big as your face. It... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, sorry. It's 10.99. So, again, by Canadian standards... Well, it's like I would twice the size it. of the leche we just had, so... So let's have a bite. See, I like, I don't know. There's a lot. Yeah, Look at this. Get a shoddy. Let's dig it. Get a shoddy and dig in there. I don't know. Just dig right into it. Don't pick it's, it apart. It's just chop it open. Yeah. All right, all right. Pass me the knife, please. Oh, I was going to say use your fork, but... All right, all right. Okay, well, I'm no, going to cut really it. pick it to pieces. Just I'm going to cut it. Oh, it's like thick. Dig right in there. It's thick -o. That's a thick piece of cake. All right, so it just looks like cake on the inside. Oh, that was another set. That was the way you were picking all those pieces. I was like, oh man, no, chop into it. There's stuff on top, so yeah. I don't know. We'll have to figure out what that is. Oh. Maybe egg pieces? I'm not sure. Only one way to find out. But we are just going to grab a piece. It's like I said, it's cake texture. I'm going to make sure I get some cheese. The I'm cheese is right freaking me out a little, with which I'm assuming which is going to be sweet. I don't know. And it smells like cake, like just like a regular. Well, yeah, I mean, it looks it looks like cake. It no, looks no, like, I know. Um... I'm just saying, like, okay, ready? Here we go, buddy. Hmm. That's not really super sweet at all. It's right. No, I don't. Have, there's not much flavor to it. I don't find. Mm -mm. I do taste the coconut. I don't. Okay, try a piece of the top with the cheese on it. I did, yeah. Because I want to see what the cheese brings I think I had a big piece it. of egg. But I can barely taste the egg. I think I have like the texture of the egg in my mouth, but I can't taste it. Try all, a... all it tastes is a cake. Yeah, this just tastes like a cake to me. I'm going to try... Which isn't a bad thing, but... I'm going to try some of the cheese. Mm. The cheese with it's a little weird. That's almost like a coffee cake. Like you need like, I think like a coffee with this or something. But try a piece with like a lot of the shredded cheese on it. It's a little... It. It's not bad. It's just an interesting flavor profile. Do I sound fancy? Flavor profile that is very high, high class. And you literally got no cheese. I got a ton of cheese. The cheese kind of makes cheese kind of makes it salty. A little bit, yeah. All I've right. Got a chunk of something. Must be. Mm. Pretty yeah, like what's that? All right. Let me do a fun fact on this because this is a very. I think it's egg. To me, it's the, like the egg yolk. To me, this is a very polarizing dessert because there's a lot of stuff that sounds like it's going on. But there's not, like, it's good, but it's not like the, whoa, like, oh my gosh, so many flavors it going on. It tastes like coffee cake to me. All right, so, fun fact. The binka is a type of rice cake native to the Philippines. This is traditionally made from galapong, milled gluttonous rice, coconut milk, margarine, and sugar. Also, the malat, which is in the title of the dessert we got, the bibinka with malat, malat equals salty that's the translation mm, okay so i think 
it doesn't give a lot of, so what what i'm gathering and please correct us if we're wrong is the babinka is the actual like cake part of it and different places or different variations will kind of like if we have vanilla cake or chocolate cake type thing like yeah the base is the same it's the what base you put on is the same stuff, so yeah. this is with cheese and malat which translates to salty so i guess that's the salted egg yeah, that's what it sounds like. I mean, okay. it, like you said, it tastes like a great cake. Like it tastes, it's not. Said it tastes like a really good coffee cake. Yeah, yeah. Like it, considering like when talking about like salted egg and coconut and stuff like that, I don't taste I, no coconut flavor, nothing really at all. It tastes just kind of like a regular cake to me. Yeah. I do taste the salt after trying it a few times. Like when you dig in deeper, you can taste the salt, which I'm okay with. I like it. Yeah. The cheese didn't really do a super ton of difference. No. No. For me, the leche flan is more my jam, I think. I think I'm so. A, I'm a big, like, sweet dessert guy. Yeah. So that was, like, sweet and sugary, and I really liked it. So I think that was more my jam for dessert. There's sort of the with you know, you like, sit back, have a, a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something like that. Whereas that seems like a real sweet dessert. To yeah. me, the leche flan tastes exactly how I was expecting it to taste. I'm going to be honest, the babinka... Babinka. babinka. The babinka, when I read the description, I was kind of like, whoa. Like, that sounds a little, like, a lot of weird not weird a lot of different flavors together that we're not used to yeah mm -hmm. but i was pleasantly surprised because it tastes like a cake it didn't yeah it didn't taste at all what i was expecting based that, on the big coconut rice cakes salted that egg piece, cheese that piece of that i just had that was really salty which is good because i love salt but overall i think that it was i was very surprised by this this dish and i'm i really like it i like saying babinka i like eating leche flan I think it's definitely a fun word to say, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's just go. All right, guys, we just want to say thank you so much for watching. And like we said earlier, if there's anything else you would like us to try, please comment down below. We will do our best to find it, try it. Keep your eyes out on our channel. Hit the subscribe button. Maybe you'll be able to catch our next video. And uh, thank you so much for being here. If you guys enjoyed this one, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. We will see you in the next one. And don't forget, every Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern, the trips go live. Come join the fun, hang out, say hi. We will see you then. Here comes some bloopers. Tip and chill. Bye, Bye guys. Today we're trying Filipi should I say Filipino dessert? Well, I forget. What am I saying? Dig in or fun? Dig in. Okay. <laughs> you already know what you're saying. Yeah. For the first time. Let's dig in. Did you hear me? I almost said first time. I was like, mm. you wanted to steal my line. I know. Thank you. Thank you. It's wet, so it'll help. <laughs> <laughs>